Hey guys, welcome back to Over Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll be installing wiring harness for the Trevor hitch on uh, Porsche Cayenne Generation 2003-2010. This should be helpful for the Volkswagen Turek and Audi Q7 as well because they share the same platform. So uh, we have a video how we install the hitch, and most likely the Turek and the Q7 will be very close procedure as well. Uh, we'll be using that device here for the lights okay you can find everything that we use in the description of the video below so uh, make sure you check it out now we remove the tail lights so we can uh, we can check which wires are for the left turn signal right turn signal stop light and tail light so sometimes by removing the tail light you cannot uh, test here because it will not uh, work as a result it will say that you have a burnt bulb and the computer will turn the power off so what we're going to do okay we're actually going to connect this one here okay let's connect it all the way do it clicks perfect like that and now one person is going to go inside the car okay and turn the uh, the turn signal on I have the voltmeter here set on 20 volts and we're going to probe it now Okay, let me find my light quick. Okay, this is the turn signal working. <clears throat> we know in our case that the black one on the bottom is ground wire. Okay, right here, this is the ground wire, the black one. And uh, usually the turn signal, they tend to be like... Um, uh, usually left turn signal is yellow. Okay, so you can see this is our turn signal that's working so now we'll go ahead and try the the stop light <coughs> stop light usually is a red cable okay so we're going to try okay this cable right here this one right here okay let me try this one now one person is holding the stop inside the car okay you can see we have 12 volts there. So the red one is stop light. And now we have to try the tail lights on. Okay, tail lights. In our case, it's the blue one there. So black is ground. Okay, and you can see, okay, when I contact it. Okay, right there, 11.5 volts. So that's how we check the lights. Usually the black one is a ground wire and then you start working your way around. Now when you figure out what the wires are, you need to check on the back side, there will be different covers. So on the bottom, the very right one, bottom, so when we turn it will be the very left one, it's actually a brown one, that's the ground. Stop light is the one with black and red. Turn signal is the one on top of it, which is black with white. And tail light is the gray one with black so we found out which wires are for the left side and the right side uh, the turn signal I assume will be the green one here uh, but we can double check that later so now we're going to go ahead connect all our wires and show you what we'll do next now we have the video how to remove the tail lights it's a super simple video so check it out guys also we'll have more than 200 videos on this car so Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. So we're going to unglue that electrical tape there. We'll connect our wires. And uh, here we have that thing apart so we can run the wire for the right turn signal. Okay, it has only four clips here, you can see. Okay, like this one here and this one came out so we need to install it. Okay, later. Let me see. Oh, this one is actually broken clip. So ours is broken. One will need to be replaced. We have that cap open, and we're going to run them through here. Now you can see where the hole is. So let us show you what connectors we use. You can find all the parts and tools uh, that we use in the description of the video below, guys, for your convenience. Uh, those are the connectors. So that way we don't have to cut the wires. Okay, we get the trailer hitch wire in. This is the stop light. Okay, and 
we use uh, the other wire, there is a canal, then you just squish it with the pliers, you will pinch both wires and it will have good connection. Now it open on the bottom so we need to go ahead and squish a little bit more. Okay, to make sure that you have really, really good connection. After that, just you close the cap, look at that thing, how, look it good, how good it looks. Next, we're going to do the left turn signal. Okay, and uh, left turn signal, in our case, was black and white wire. Okay, that we have right here. So we need to find black and white. Okay, this one right here with the yellow one. Next it will be our tail light and this one will be grey with black. Okay, this one right here. So we will use the same type of connector and... Okay, let's find grey with black. Use the pliers, squish it in. Okay, and... Just the same thing all the way in and then we'll put the cap on. So we have the lights connected here so we can test everything before we close everything on this side. Now we're going to have the left turn signal on. Okay, and this is the trailer wire for the left turn signal, yellow one. Check it out, it works. Now let's try stop light. Okay, stop light will be on the turn signal again. Perfect. Now let's try tail lights, it should be the brown one here. Okay, great, so everything works on this side. What we'll do, we'll just push the cables through here and we're going to install that, uh, uh, that seal on top of it. Okay, so we just push our wires all the way in. Now we can go ahead and install our seal to make sure that water and moisture doesn't get inside. Look at that thing, how professional it looks from this side, you cannot even tell. On the inside we're going to get it between that plastic and this plastic and we got it right here. It will be uh, in the hole where our manual is, that storage compartment. Now we're going to use the electrical tape for the one that we removed earlier. Because uh, you know the original connection has the electrical tape on top of it. Like this one that it holds the wires together. And all we have to do now, connect the right turn signal, which in our case will be this wire right here. So we have a wire going to the right turn signal. Right turn signal in our case, okay, it's the black and green wire, okay, right here. So, now let's go ahead and test it on the trailer to make sure that the right turn signal works. Okay, we have the voltmeter set at 20 volts. Okay, black wire ground and the green one should be right turn signal and you can see it works so from that point on all we have to do you can see all the lights work put everything together guys okay guys so we have the cayenne with the dolly here and you can see our lights work perfectly fine so uh, we tested it and uh, for about 400 miles we had absolutely no problem so thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time